Good afternoon, everyone. Today, we're waiting on a transport to come pick up before 9.55. We've struck a big problem with it. I was going to the dealership to get split in half and, and pretty well. We're pretty well going to split front end, half, back end, probably have to take the cap off. We have come to the conclusion, I believe, this seal here is leaking motor, motor oil into the transmission. Which, if I draw, so there's our truck pulling right now. There's been an insane amount of hydraulic oil or engine oil in the hydraulics, and we've been losing engine oil rapidly. We did 15 acres of chop and silage the other day, lost 15 liters of oil. So we're gonna get ready to load this tractor up onto the transport, send it off to green tractors, and hope to see you in two weeks. We're on to the next project here. The battery in the 6230 came up dead. Tried starting it a couple weeks ago and it just clicked when you turned over. We pulled the battery out of the 64 to see if it would work and see if it's a dead battery problem. We've had the battery charger on it all day and it hasn't been able to get it to start. So, I'm gonna see if it's the battery's problem or if it's something internally with the electronics. Battery was the problem. Tractor runs now, so we'll order a new battery to get set into it, and we'll put the battery we put in it back in the 64 here. Dad's got a little bit of spray left. He's gonna spray off these weeds that are in front of the shop. A lot of it's ragweed, and me and him are very allergic to it. Sinuses and stuff get all plugged up, and we're sneezing and everything. So just gonna spray that off and. Hope that keeps her down. I'll probably put some gravel over her or something. We've got a delivery coming up the driveway. A 
What did we buy this time? There's the truckload. Only one of those is ours, but it's got to turn around in the field there. We got the tractor back yesterday. We went to go start and move the tractor and harvester out of the way, and we got dead batteries. So he's got to turn around in the field because we usually have trucks come in as tight as to the shop as they can and do a UE around, and we can get them straight right here. So we don't know what's wrong with it, but we got it back. The seal in there that got changed. $60 seal maybe, but they had it for three weeks, brought it back. That's what the photos in the clip before this was. So that's how the tractor got fixed. It was up at Green Tractors, had a split and everything, so it wasn't too bad. Got her back and get ready for corn silage next week. We got the new piece of equipment unloaded. What we bought here is a two-stage grain cleaner. It has the trap on the bottom for all the cleanings. So we'll have like a dump box or something sit here. That auger will come up and we can have the dump box sit under it. We have the fill auger which will swing around and go into here. Same size as our grain auger so it's eight inch so it'll work perfect for right here we'll have that at the auger chute for when filling the grain bin this will mainly get used for corn probably small grains like oats and wheat too but mainly used for corn because we take all we take all the red dogs out which are those little red filings we take out of the corn so it doesn't sit at the bottom of the tank or throughout the tank and it adds moisture which will end up making the corn rot so we got a big fan over on the tank at the other farm there so we'll fill that probably this year with the corn after we get soybeans off highly likely gonna fill that and keep it and dry it and then ship it out whenever but we have a single stage grain cleaner this will get the extra filings out and everything so our single stage you have to scoop up the grain with a shovel from underneath of it you have a tarp under it so this will be much much more pleasant with having the unload unload auger on it there are some things we got to fix on it flat tire this switch when we went to go look at it and we got, found it in the junkyard as you guys can probably tell but we went to push these buttons and then they didn't come back out. So we've got to find a switch for that. It is a 110 outlet. So plug there, or, or actually that's two, 240 there. And then this is like your general plug in right there. This is what you plug it into. So it's like a welder plug, probably on and off your breaker panel right, right there for all your breakers rotary screen fines auger and intake auger it's got some nice big electric motors on it i think it's got three of them yep got three of them on it so i hope it'll be pretty good to use this year we're hoping to use it got it all Hopefully it all works. So when we were looking at it, it was all in buried and stuff. So didn't see it run, but hoping it'll run here. And then have some cleaner corn. This next thing we're working on is we're getting the corn or the harvester ready to chop corn. We got the corn head on it. I just switched the PTO around to this one. This is the sharpening one. It reverses it or something. And then we're going to sharpen the knives. These are the knives up in here. They're a little, must have had a couple stones while chopping hay silage this year. So, going to 
touch them up and then put the belt on for the processor. We're using the processor for our corn this year. It has two or three rollers like this in it. And it just makes it like powder for like the corn kernels and everything. It just breaks it up even more for the cows to digest it even better. Our old harvester, the New Holland 790, it never had one of these on it. This is the first time we'll ever get, we'll be using a processor. So it'll be quite sweet to use. I'm excited to use it. So it's got the same, pretty well identical corn head to the other harvester. 824 but we did put the spout extension back on it we took it off wasn't filling the wagons full enough for us so we put it back on see if we could fill the back of the wagons up won't really need to test that out with corn silage because we only do half loads because that's all the tires can handle they're eight ply 11 l 15s at the general implement tire and they can't handle full loads of corn silage. The corn's too heavy for it. Can handle the hay, but it can't handle the corn. So it's a little unfortunate. Just gotta make more trips, that's all. We got no power to the starter. I'm trying to figure it out. Day after it comes back from the dealer and that screws up so that's not good yes we won't be sharpening the knives tonight gonna have it sit on the battery charger all night probably see if that'll help might have to get a new set of batteries we already put already put a new set in the 6230 or one it only has the one on the front but eight hundred dollars for the one battery quite expensive for batteries I don't know how these electric vehicles stay alive with the batteries and then have to put new ones in every so every probably 10 years. That one battery is brand new in 2011. It's about 13 years old. It served its time, but it's awful expensive to change them out. It's horrible. But gotta do what you gotta do. Gotta have the tractor to run, so we're gonna see if we can start it with hit the starter or something. I've been wrenching on it here for a good bit now. I got the battery box off, took the shield off here. Starter's fried. Those little marks, there's, there's a little bit of weld mark there almost. That's caused by when you're taking the connections off the battery, wrench hits that, sparks it, fries the starter. Right there, it's probably stuck on the little burnt mark on the inside there. That's where we also hit with the hammer, so there's a little mark right there. You can see it, it's where it actually hit, where the paint's taken off, that's from the hammer, but that is from hitting it with the wrench. Must have happened when it was at the dealer. So we're gonna take this off tonight. We're gonna have to go take the connections off the other battery. There's one on the other side. And then we'll be able to pull this starter off and take it to town tomorrow. And there's a guy, there's a guy in town that rebuilt starters. So we'll take it to him and he'll be able to figure out what's wrong with it. If we need a new one or if he can fix this one. 